Hello everyone, welcome to this deep dive into system design of Instagram stories from a mobile first perspective. Whether you are preparing for interviews or building scalable consumer apps, this breakdown will walk you through real world decisions behind story capture, upload, playback, retry and analytics. Here is what we will cover. We will start with requirements, then walk through a data flow diagram, followed by a modular high level design and finally a detailed low level design. Everything is rooted in clean architecture, mobile best practice and production readiness. Here are the core functional requirements our system needs to handle. Capture photos or videos for our stories. Automatically split long videos into 15 second segments. Save stories and drafts and retry upload if interrupted. Upload segments individually and commit metadata after all succeeded. Fetch paginated stories for followed users. Support smooth preload story playback with gestures. Cache media locally and purge after 24 hours. Batch view events and send them to backend periodically. Now the non-functional goals. Load stories within 200 milliseconds and maintain 60 FPS during playback. Smooth rendering with hundreds of stories that has been cached in our system. Retry uploads even if the app is killed. Conserve battery by prefetching only over Wi-Fi. Secure all media via signed CDN URLs. Ensure local and server state remain in sync. Now let's visualize how data moves through system. The upload flow begins with the capture UI leading to segment upload videos via upload manager to the media API followed by metadata commit. The fetch flow starts from the tray UI which uses story feed view model and prefetch manager to preload CDN hosted content. The view tracking flow collects playback events via view tracker and batches them and sends them to analytics API. This diagram illustrates how the app connects the UI data flow and services at runtime. Now let's see our high level design, our HLD. So there will be two parts of our HLD. One is our mobile app and another is our backend services. So from our mobile app perspective, our system follows screen architecture. The UI layer includes screens for capture, tray and story playback. The view model layer handles the presentation logic. The use case layer manages the business workflow. The repository layer abstracts cache and network. The infrastructure layer manages background uploads, view tracking and prefetching. Now on the backend part, the media upload API receives segments. The metadata API stores a story metadata. A CDN serves signed URLs for media. The analytics API receives view events. This backend integrates seamlessly with our app to support reliability, scalability and security. Now let's map our requirements with the components we just discussed. On the left hand side, I have mentioned all the requirements that we mentioned earlier and we'll see how our HLD component address them. You can pause and read it through. I'll summarize it. The camera editor screen captures and edits. Upload manager handles retries. Story repository ensures things between local and server. Story cache stores TTL bound metadata. Prefetch manager improves playback smoothness. View tracker batches and flushes analytics. Secure APIs and signed URLs are enforced via network manager. So this overall table confirms that every requirement is not only identified but also implemented cleanly through our mod modular components. Now let's see our LLD. So this diagram is very similar to what we discussed in our HLD. It's just we have added some more arrows and implementation to it. I will deep down into each component one by one to show you how each component will be implemented. Let's first discuss our domain layer. So stories, story segment and media type describe the stories data structure. These are clean framework independent entities so it can be reused across layers. This is our data layer. It contains models for network communication. Story metadata contains story ID, TTL and segment list. Segment meta represents individual meta units. 
these are mapped to backend contracts used in our APIs. Now this is our view model layer. These view models act as bridge between UI and domain layer. Upload story view model manages uploads and observes progress. And story feed view model loads story and metadata and updates UI reactively. Both emit UI state and delegate logic to their respective use cases. Now these are our use cases. Upload story use case, split videos, and queues background upload tasks and commits metadata. Fetch stories use case fetches cached stories first and then hits the network. They isolate the encapsulate logic improving testability and clarity. Now this is our repository layer. Mainly we are looking at this story repository implementation which implements this story repository interface. The story repository implementation manages cache plus network coordination, triggers upload and retry flows, handles expiration logic and story state sync. This layer is the brain behind data orchestration. Now let's look at our endpoints and API interface. This is our retrofit style API surface. This upload API is used to upload our segments. This commit endpoint completes our metadata submission for each story. This fetch endpoint returns the list of paginated story list. And this views batch endpoint is used for our analytics batching. Each request will use token authentication and signed URLs to ensure security in our application. Now let's take a look at our upload manager. Upload manager is critical for reliability. It uses work manager for background execution, retries failed uploads with exponential backup strategy, commits story only after all segments are uploaded successfully. This ensures the feature works even in poor condition or after app restarts. Moving on, let's see how caching and prefetching will work. So this is the blueprint of caching and two things will happen here. Story cache stores metadata locally and purges them after 24 hours. Prefetch manager downloads CDN content for the next inline stories but only for good connections or Wi-Fi. This improves performance without draining the battery. Now to our last component which is our view tracking. This view tracker handles user analytics. It batches view events in memory, flushes them periodically to the backend reduces API overhead imp and improve battery life. To wrap up, we have designed a mobile first system for Instagram stories. It can be scalable, secure, offline capable and production ready. We use clean architecture to separate concerns, background workers to handle retries, caching to improve speed and batching to optimize the network. Now this was just a blueprint of how you can think of action items in your system design interviews. You can add more content to each of the section as required by your interview. I guess this is it for this video. If you have made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.